wondering what was that? Well, my name is Dr. Cool J. Klang, and rule number 120 of the encyclopedia A Thousand Rules to Being Cool is, if you want to be cool, you got to know the cool secret language. Cool. Ha ha ha. And hey, if you want to learn it, my office is always open. What the hell is the wrestling business coming to? I'm wrestling Dr. Cool? Is he even really licensed? Is that even his real name? He wants to use all these little rhymes. I got a rhyme for you, Dr. Cool. You suck, and I don't give a fuck. See, I can say that, because I didn't say the F word. Evil Kip is going to knock your head off. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, the bees, knees, and everything in between, I am the coolest cat in the country, the dopest dude in the dirge, and I am Dr. Cool J. Clang. And tonight, I take on Avril Kip. Stevens as he steps in to my office of cool and now evil Kip let me tell you this right now you've ever bought my book the encyclopedia 1000 rules to being cool yet yeah. rule number 11 you can't be an evil bitch so tonight even evil Kip when you step into my office you got a checkup in cool coming your way the doctor is in Jordan DeLuciano here on Cap TV alongside Bryce Donovan. Yep. We got one-on-one -on -one action. To my right, we have Dr. Cool J. Klang taking on, to my left, Evil Kip. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Dr. Cool with a interesting outfit, to say the least. The encyclopedia, that's supposed to be cool. If you want to be cool, you can't be an evil bitch. That's rule, no, rule number 11, official, right? right? You read the rule book? I, you read the, oh. There are a thousand rules, and rule number 11 was, uh, be an you evil cannot bitch. be an evil bitch, as you know. Uh, Kip has lost the evil bitch match, or the I bitch match. Yes, to Mike Anthony. So unfortunately, uh, might follow him up for a little bit here at Creative Pro. He's very happy. Mm -hmm. Ever since that, that, that great one-liner by Mike Anthony, uh, uh, Kip has not been able to live it down. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look at Dr. Cool J trying to sneak out of that one. Dr. Cool, a new competitor here. We got to see what he's got. Yes. He went down in his previous oh! match on Cap TV, but looking to get his first win here at Karita Pro. He's got an athletic drop kick. I know that. What? He keeps saying, oh, but oh. nobody home there for Dr. Cool J. Maybe uh, maybe built that one up a little bit too yeah, much. I think you're right oh, on that ow. one, boys. Look, it's, it's hard early on. you got to figure out what works for you. And Dr. Cool... Uh, oh, running knee to the side of the head sends Dr. Cool J inside out. Dr. Cool's an interesting guy. He's got to uh, figure out how he's going to translate that in ring. And uh, unfortunately, the long the long splash did not pay off for him. He is in, uh, he's in a little bit of trouble right yeah, now. Yeah, he's got a unique style, as we mentioned before, with the outfit. So he's got to take that unique look and turn it into a unique fighting style as Kip with the snapmare takedown into the chin lock. If you, and it's been all Kip so far. Yeah, if you give Kip an opening, he will he will take it. He is not shy about doing that. He will capitalize, and that's what he's doing right now. As now Dr. Cool J is going to work his way back up, but then Kip just throwing all of his body weight on top of him right back down to the mat. What, what a move by Kip, throwing his body weight on top of Dr. Cool, dragging him back down to the mat. That shows the experience of Evil Kip. Not letting him have any life here as they slowly work right back up, but Dr. Cool J going to fight out of it, sweeps the leg into a pin here, and a kick out by Evil Kip. As Kip oh, runs into a clothesline, Dr. Cool. And here comes, yeah, Dr. Another clothesline. Dr. Cool firing off some lines here. Looking for a scoop oh. slam, but uh, Kip 
weaves his way over the top there. Oh. Drop toe hold into the middle rope. Here Evil kip, camp. all the momentum. Oh. Cross body into the top of the back. And a knee to the back now. But Evil kip, not, not the biggest competitor, but very good at throwing his weight. Look, he throws his entire body into these strike, into these movements. So while he's not the biggest, it feels harder. It's a heavier hit because it's his entire being getting thrown onto you. Yes, like we said before, Evil Kip using all his weight to keep Evil to keep Dr. Cool J down on the mat and then using the environment to his advantage as well as his body weight and speed. Crowd getting behind Dr. Cool here. I mean he's uh, Dr. Cool, cool in a bad position as the leaping strike takes down. Dr. Cool J in the seated position in the he's, corner. He's got pants, he's got a shirt, he's got gloves, he must be very hot, he's got headbands. Yeah, he's got the sleeves, uh, or the big not, gloves. Or not really built for these Those these look like summer, cooking gloves. These hot summer okay. matches, but... Dishwashing gloves. Oh, oh, but no one orders the double knees. He goes two, double knees into the middle buckle there. Let's Dr. 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 Cool can capitalize. Trying to take advantage, reverse Irish whip, sending Cool J into the corner. Cool oh. J Clang sends the kip into the ropes. Oh, atomic drop. Oh, I've never heard Kip make that sound before. I think that was Dr. Cool J just made it. Another oh, one! That lower spine is taking a beating right now. So cool, Dr. Cool says. Dr. Cool looking for that scoop slam now, and he gets Body it! Slam. Down goes Evil Kip. And Evil Kip may have taken Dr. Cool J too lately, because now he's in a world of trouble. Cool, uh, firing himself up here. Dr. Cool J Clang, corner Whoa. to corner, splash! Yeah. Off the ropes. Oh, oh, oh you know what he calls that? Hotel Cool California, and it Ho connects. Hotel Cool California, he calls it. Yep, and Evil Kip scrambling out of harm's way to the outside of the ring as the ref starts his count. Hotel California, apparently you, you can check out anytime you like and also leave as Kip leaves the ring. Here comes Dr. Cool trying to drag him back in. This is where the experience comes into play. Yeah, he's got to watch his back here. Kip might be up to something on that outside. We've seen him use the environment to his advantage before. Yeah, Dr. Cool is not used Wait, to Wait, yep, he's got the book. You see, I think he's got the book. The ref's got to be on top of that. Dr. Cool J has no idea. The ref's got to be on top of it. The ref's, ref's got to show the... That's his rule of cool. Yeah. You can't take a man's rules of cool. He's, Dr. Cool wrote that book. Oh, oh he walks right into a throw chop. Fireman's carry. Dr. Cool J might have been too preoccupied with the book. Neck first, head first into the top buckle. Face first into Evil Kip's knee. Super kick. Down goes Cool J. That might be all she wrote. Evil Kip got him. That'll do it. Evil Kip with a convincing win off the new guy, Dr. Cool J. Clang. Oh, I'm mocking him with his glasses. Johnny Clash. When I first started in professional wrestling, you took me under your wing, Clash, and you were a mentor to me. You were one of the only guys that I could trust in this sport. When we were in spite, we were on top of the mountain at Creative Pro Wrestling. But the keyword, Clash, the keyword in all of that is war. Because what you did to me and that match, after that match against Team Espana, is unforgivable! You stand me in the back, Clash, and you spin my face! So don't be surprised when I throw it right back at you. <laughs> I'm no longer your whipping boy, Clash. I'm my own man now! I'm Mike Anthony! I'm gonna make you wish that you never knew that name. Yay! The following contest is a gauntlet match for the creator for a television championship. Introducing 
first currently in the ring, this is Lenny! The most producer in the world. Oh, 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 God, oh God, cringe. Oh, God. Did you just say the best juicer in the world? I don't know what he said. I think, just, I think it just hit Lenny that. I think it just hit Lenny now that he now has to face Slade in a gauntlet match. Jordan DeLucci out here for Cap TV alongside the goatest of all time. Thank you for the title, Slade. Bobby the Orlando. The goatest of all time, and now the. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. oh my goodness! Lenny. Uh, that and, thanks for coming. And competitor number one is gone. Well, let me get back to my introductions. The goodest of all time, uh, Bobby Orlando here. And and don't mind me. Future star in the making, TG3, a top prospect of the Trader Pro Wrestling Academy. I wanted to be front row and center for this. Not only because I have shared the ring with Slate countless times, I am also a a a film. Oh well, and and I'm also a lover of all, all things film. So so yes, you get to see Slade in action, front and, row, and you get to see J. George's film crew, who is now taking the beating. Oh, here comes devil. J. George! Speak of the devil, here comes J. George. He is actually the third competitor. Okay. In this gauntlet. Well, so, um, so Slade has now beaten Lenny in two seconds. He has beaten TG3 by disqualification. Now, Jay George, the last competitor here in the gauntlet match, and a chance here to win the TV title as he's going to go head to head here with Slade. Now, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I feel like those first two outcomes weren't a shock to anybody. And here's when it gets down to the real, real, real juicy stuff. Yes, Jay George has been on fire as of late, just capping off his own. Capping off his feud with Nick Stafford, he came out on top in now, all of his matches. Now, I did say before that Slade is one of the most dangerous people I've ever shared the ring with, but don't count J. George out. He is a man of mystery. He has many tricks up his sleeve that I'm sure we're gonna realize. Oh my, oh my God! God. Wait, getting, you cannot keep your back turned on Slade as J. George, by some miracle, is able to get onto the top rope to break, break off that sleeper hole that's put away so many. TG3 awkwardly standing in the corner, not sure if he's oh, going to be involved. Bobby in this J. Match or George not. is going for a sleeper hold of his own. Yeah. J. Jo Could we see an upset in the making? Oh, oh but and, just and, picks yeah, him right back go. up. Fast-paced oh, action gets here. Away. It's a game of cat and mouse right now. Oh, and a super kick might have not gotten all of it, but he got enough off the ropes. Oh, but and he walks right when, into night. the choke oh. slam. Up and down goes J. George as Slade looks to put the finishing touches here. Here's the sleeper hold, and wait, what? Lenny, I don't know what the what? Lenny! Lenny, Lenny throws in the towel. Wow. Slade victorious, but here comes TG3 to pick up the TG3, pieces. TG3, I don't think it's gonna work, buddy. Jumping no. on top of TG3 like a crazy zoo animal. Slade retains his title, but now, TG3, who was saved from the sleeper hold earlier before, may not be so lucky now. No one's there to break the yeah, hold. Yeah, he got abandoned break by his production crew. TG3's out cold as Le Two, three, four, Slay! Oh, TG3 man. out cold as Lenny gets J. George out of harm's way as Slade goes three for three in the gauntlet and is still Bobby. Your TV champion. That's right. He is still the Cap TV champion, but he is not content. He is pissed off. Jordan DeLuciano here for Cap. Let me stop you right there. Are we, are we being serious yet? I don't, I don't want to play these games anymore. Did you find an actual competitor for me to wrestle? I was just going to... I was... I don't know. I was going to answer if you have any... Jordan, idea. Jordan, Jordan. How are you? Hey, how are you? I heard you didn't like my donuts. Listen, you've been the champ for a while now, and I've been doing pretty okay myself. Pretty well, actually. But, so I figured, you know, I deserve a shot at that shiny thing you got around your uh, shoulder, your broad shoulder. What do you say? Okay, you know what? Uh, since you put on your big boy pants today, and you came and, and talked to me instead of sending donuts or a note, I'll give you a shot at my title. But it's not because you deserve it. It's because I'm going to show everybody how much better I am than everybody else here. Especially you. Now, let's end the games, okay? Was that a yes? <laughs>